Today's trick is going to be fast scissor legs. Now, why would you scissor legs? Um, it's People think it's much faster just to do guard combs all the way down the legs. Well, um, remember our goal is to make sure that our clientele comes back every four to six weeks. So this is a great trim that they want to keep. This is one of the ways that we can make the dog look better. So this dog is very long this way. Um, so you can see if I was going to take away this hair and this hair, it really lengthen that dog. So to kind of put it back into proportion, we'll add a little more length. Another reason is if you've got a dog that has a lot of body and very, very small little legs, um, by beefing these legs up again, it puts it into proportion, makes the dog look kind of a cute teddy bear look. So I'm going to show you how to do that quickly. Um, this dog gets an O-guard body and we're going to just kind of cheat the legs a little bit with a guard and then scissor them up. It's also going to keep consistency of length from one side to the other. So I'm going to go ahead and make the body look normal. We're going to pick up that tail and we're going to come right down the back end just like you'd be doing a schnauzer. Feathering off right at the hock. Now, we want the muscle to be the, the widest point. But if I follow my fingers in, you'll come around the muscle and you'll kind of almost arrowhead in. So what we want to do is we want to skim from the edge of the muscle down. Again, almost like your long legged carriers. That's going to give your dog a rump. It's the same way you do a poodle, a bichon, um, any of your long legged terriers. You want their legs to fall right into their body. And again, you can see that I've cheated off most of this here for the scissor legs. Now, the other part that people have a bit of a hard time with is the actual tuck up area here. Um, if we were to come down with our guard comb and take all of this off, we would again make our dog longer and almost give it kind of a race car look, right? So you want your actual tuck up to be behind your last rib. That's your center point. That should be the waistline. So we're gonna add this here, here. We're gonna leave that alone until we scissor it and make the waistline after that last rib. There's a couple of ways you can keep going back over your coat. You can do a back brush, but sometimes with your drop coats, what's easier is you kind of almost do a body roll. That stands the hair straight up. Now, with your front legs, again, there's a nice muscle here. If I follow the muscle with my finger, it will kind of tilt in right at the elbow there. Again, we don't want to almost pinch that leg. So we are going to come down and right at the elbow, we're going to skim into that leg. Turning off the front, again, right at that shoulder. We're almost gonna kind of skim straight off. Okay, so now that you have finished your body, you set in your, your scissored leg with your guard comb, now we're just gonna quickly trim them up. Um, the first, I kind of break my legs into four um, sections. So just like, if you really pay attention to how you bathe and how you dry, you seem to be kind of the same routine for each dog. So. That's what gives you speed. So the first section that I'm always going to hit is the back. In the back, we've already hit most with the guard comb. So I'm really just going to um, neaten that up. My curves are in reverse because that's kind of the angle I'm looking for. And then I'm going to flip my curves around with and tidy up the hog. Now you've already set in your feet. So you gave yourself kind of a cheater start here and you know where you're heading, which is where your feet is. 
Anything that falls out of that, um, you're gonna trim off. So again, you've got your nice angle, your pointer right here. Now I'm gonna do the outside. Again, I've cheated most of it off of my dark comb. So you can see that I kind of lift the hair. I don't back brush the hair. I'm kind of almost trying to get it to lay as natural as I can possibly get it to lay. And anything that falls between this area and this area is coming off. And I'm taking my straight shears. And remember, your muscle is your highest point. So you want to make sure that nothing's sticking out. They don't kind of have these big um, pouchy legs or the legs aren't too tight within their bodies. This is your guideline right here. Now, if you've got a drop coat and you're really struggling with um, scissor marks, great idea is just to take some sort of a finishing spray, an anti-static spray. And make sure it's light mist. If you lightly spritz, that's gonna keep the static down and you're able to get a really nice finish. You can see how the kind of the hair falls off together because you've taken that static out. My next section is gonna be the inside of the legs. And again, I've set this outside. It should be the same length inside unless you've got a very bull-legged dog. Um, or it's really um, wide in the back legs. Now what I've learned is if I can take my shears a little bit at this kind of angle instead of straight up and down, I will not get as many chatter marks, almost like steps in your shoes. Um, so again, if I have my shears down at an angle and anything that's going to be longer than my foot, I'm just gonna simply trim it up until I get a nice line. And lastly, I'm gonna do the front. Now, the front is where you have the most ability to change a shape in a leg. Um, so you always wanna kinda of do that last. So your lowest point here, which is kind of the bend of the knee, should be your highest point on the other side. Now, hair breaks a lot in this area, so you're not taking much off. And you can see I'm leaving my longest point. And remember this hair that we kind of left, we want to do it after the last rib. I'm just going to angle that right in to the dog's body. Break my knee. Now, if you find yourself whittling, which we all do, come back with your thinning shears. Remember, these are like your erasers. If you find yourself whittling and you're gonna take too much hair off, pull your thinning shears out and it will pull it together without taking off too much hair. And that's the back leg.